Last time on Persona 5 Royal. An eyeball? What's this? Oh, she's got it now too. Oh god. There! Now steal it! Yay! Oh my god! She did it! It's mama. Evil mama. This is insane! Agreed! Well, that's interesting. Drive, drive, drive! Mm, tired. Gonna sleep for a bit. She fell asleep again? <laughs>Greetings, my beautiful viewers. I am the Hunter of Comedy, and welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. So, last time, we were able to get uh, Futaba saved, and now we're just kind of waiting for her to wake up. We still got 15 more days until that happens. So, until then, we're going to be doing some wonderful little uh, time hanging out with our friends. Uh, we hung out with Panther today, and now, tonight, we're gonna go hang out with, uh, Hifumi. Alrighty. <sighs> Take me to church! Oh, it's... it's hot outside, but I'm clear-headed since it's so cool inside here. You have more aptitude for this than I imagined. I also sense an ambitious spirit within you. I should have taken, uh... I should have taken into account your improvement throughout our lessons. I have something in mind, but let's play a match first. In fact, let's play right now. Of course we're gonna play right now. Um... Oh, we're going to the second-hand bookstore first. Okay. Ginocho. All right. Cool. <laughs> that was a good match. I really do enjoy teaching you. You're such a quick learner. Today, I thought we'd find something... <clears throat> I thought we'd find you something to help you train on your own. This bookstore is filled with shogi-related books. I've been coming here a lot lately. There's also a curry restaurant just around the corner. I recommend their katsu curry. I always eat katsu curry before an important match. For good luck. Ifumi? Oh. Hello. I hope your match went well today. What are you talking about? Today's our day off. My apologies. I forgot that there weren't any matches scheduled for today. Out shopping with your boyfriend? <laughs> Must be nice for you. I wouldn't be surprised. You are a famous shogi player after all. Well, I won't intrude. Bye. Kind of had an attitude Sorry. there. Sorry, she was only glaring at you because you're with me. She's my senior. I defeated her in a recent title match. Hmm. I don't mind. She has a vibe. Must have been the Katsu Curry! Ha ha ha! Actually... <laughs> yes, I did have Katsu Curry before that match. The truth is, I'm not very well liked by my seniors. The more attention I get, the more enemies I make, and the more lies are spread about me. Oh... Perhaps it's odd to compare myself to them, but I wonder if it's the same for the Phantom Thieves. People are so divided about them on the internet. Some love them, while others hate them. I can't help but see similarities between us. What do you think about them? Mm, they're ridiculous, they're cool, i never heard of them! Nah, <laughs> nah, they're cool, they're cool. I feel the same way, actually. It's amazing that they're still doing what they do, even though so many people criticize them. They give me courage. But, we'll... but their victories can't be won with will alone. How do they change a person's heart? Oh, I'm interested from a tactical standpoint and... Oh, I'm sorry. We really are quite off topic. I feel like I've become much more talkative as of late. I usually don't talk this much. You're more than just someone I can practice moves with. 
You're someone I can confide in. I look forward to it. Um, if you don't mind this sort of thing, I'd like to go out and chat with you again. Well, of course not! Let's do it! God, I know, I- Oh, it's gone deeper. DEEPER! Hooray! All right. <clears throat> Nothing special this time, but hey. Oh yes, there's a book I'd love for you to read. Let's go. Ah, indeed we shall. Until next time. Oh, that was nice. I like that. That was fun. Hello. Thank you again for accompanying me today. My intention was to show you uh, how great Jinobo, Jinbocho, Jinbocho is, but I ended up just talking about myself. My apologies. I was shocked, though. Ordinarily, I don't talk that much, I assure you. Perhaps it's because I never had friends at school who I could talk to about Shogi. I hope this won't discourage you from spending time with me. Really, I would be delighted to do this again. I'd love it. Uh, where should we go next? Uh, where should we go next? What? Uh, well, let's see. I give up. There are too many places I'd like to visit. I cannot narrow it down to one. Well, we'll just have to visit all of them then, won't we? Other than used books and katsu curry, there are many things I'd like to recommend in that city. If you have the chance, perhaps we can explore more of the city next time. Well, I'm afraid I must go. I'll see you at the church. Oh, don't worry. I'll take you to church. Ha <laughs> ha! That sounds... like... Both exactly how I wanted it to and not at all how I wanted it to. <clears throat> have the Phantom Sieves said anything yet? Heard they were buying uh, tainted ingredients. They're done for. Another leak? What are they doing? Did the Phantom Thieves do it? It was really boring this time, though. Hmm. Hey, can you make some time for me today? There's something I would really like to uh, really use. I, I could really use your help with Akira. Well, we're eating right now, so we'll uh, take care of that later. Okay. It's way too hot. It is. Well then. Alrighty. So on today's agenda, we're gonna go. Get a job from uh, Trader Sakai. Best girl, hi! Oh, I need to spend more time with her, but no, I'm following the stupid guide. We need exorcism water. Well, I know a place to get exorcism water, also to sell clothing. Hello, priest man. Oh, I can use the temple to increase my maximum SP. That's cool. I didn't know do? I could do that. Alrighty, so today we've got to take and uh, get our drink on, I should have said. Well, then. Glug glug in my tum tum! Nice. More proficiency! Hooray! Alrighty, so I gave him the exorcism water that I needed, so that's good. We've dealt with Trader Sakai now, so... So we're returning ICU, and instead we're getting Mouse MD. Ooh, learn more about kindness. D housewives, huh? Jailbreak. Guy McVer. I I want to do that at some point. God. Alrighty, and we're gonna work at the convenience store today, so we can increase our charm, because we need to be do? maximum charming. No end to the customers. Just keep your cool and don't forget to smile. Hmm. Uh, that's the cow's milk. Ha! <laughs> In this store's uh, original brand of milk. There's a bar barcode right next to the logo. Right next to the logo. Okay. Tiger striped pants. Barcode is on the tag inside. So, milk, it's right next to the logo. The shirt, it's on the thing inside. Okay. A sudden rush of customers as soon as uh, she, uh, uh, Shibuya Senpai goes on break. Let's focus on finding the barcodes and quickly get through the crowd. 
Where do we find the barcode uh, next to the company logo? Alrighty. Hmm. Uh, rich, thirst-quenching milk, huh? Doesn't milk make you thirstier, though? It does. Nice going. You did great. Good work on handling all that by yourself. Well, thank you. You've been such a huge help. Good work today. Thanks for your hard work. Keep it up. Hey. Good work out there. You got to learn how to be considerate of others through dealing with customers. Mm -hmm. Indeed, I did. My charm is debonair. I am maximum charming. All right. Alrighty, and I got paid. I forgot I get paid for working. Alrighty, so... Well, oh, right, uh, the Home Shopping Network. What are they selling today? Yeah, I'll take the Phantom Thief set, actually. Has infiltration tools that I'm gonna need. Well, Hooray! Stuff has been bought! And for tonight's lovely adventure, we're gonna take the twins out again. Come, small children! Oh. I skipped all of that. I'm so sorry. Listen closely, the place we wish to evaluate for your rehabilitation is somehow capable of simulating the ocean despite being indoors. Rumor has it that sea creatures from all around the world have been gathered in this one place. What an, what an incredulous calm, recreating something as vast as the ocean within a building. I know of this location. What'll you do? We're going to the aquarium, we are. <laughs> hmm, oh, an aquarium, huh? Guess we'll see how well it's recreated Mother Ocean. Guide me, inmate. Hooray! True. These glass walls certainly make it appear as if we're walking along the floor of the ocean. It's my first time in this place, but it feels familiar to me, somehow. It's a lot like myself! <laughs> that room is a manifestation of another sea. Though, the sea of human souls. Perhaps there is some connection after all. Oh, I see. So it does make sense for us to feel some sort of connection here. Let's continue inspecting the premises. There are a number of other exhibits we've yet to see. So many different kinds of fish. Yes, the semi-transparent floating invertebrates were quite fascinating. I believe they were named jellyfish. <laughs> Those sea cucumber life forms were also very intriguing. Really? They only creep me out. The exhibit with the enormous fish was was much cooler. The killer whale, if I remember correctly. What nonsense is this? The jellyfish are far more appealing. No, the killer whale is clearly superior. Inmate. Oh god. Settle this. Uh, I like them both equally, it is true. That was not a choice made available to you. Hmm, you can't do anything right, inmate. I believe we've completed our inspection of the premises, correct? We've seen how oceanic life forms from all over the world have been gathered here by humans. Indeed, that raises a question, though. Why do humans go through the trouble of collecting other creatures and putting them on public display? To sate their appetite? To assert their dominance? Kind of? It, it, I mean, like, it, it should be to admire it, but yeah, it's kind of to assert their dominance, isn't it? Yeah, let's go with that. So, by constructing this artificial ocean, they believe they've conquered nature? Hmm. Is that how they feel after slapping together this puny glass box? Pathetic. Whatever the case may be, this assessment is now complete. Here is your reward. Ooh, I'm getting a lot of good stuff. All right, it's time to head back. A free penguin show will begin shortly at the ex exhibition stage. Please come and enjoy the performance. What is a penguin? A cute, flightless bird. Hmm. 
We have no particular interest in such a display. If I have to. But since you look like you're dying to witness this inmate, we'll tag along. I, I kind of do, actually. I love penguins. They're adorable. After watching the penguin show, I escorted the twins back to the Velvet Room. <clears throat> Who wants to hang out with me tonight? Yusuke! You always want to hang out, bro. I'm not saying you can't come here every day because you can, but I got plans tomorrow. Hey. I should write Alrighty, something. so we're gonna... I've been saving in the wrong slot. Oopsie, that's not good. Oh well, I, I, I figure we're okay, so, alright. But today, we're gonna go hang out with On because On wanted to talk to us. Truth is, Shiho's moving away today, and before she goes, she wants to see the school roof again. I know it's a day off, but I called and uh, said we need to get some books, so we should be able to get in. It's uh, still hard for Shiho to climb the stairs, though. Do you think you could help me carry her? Well, of course I can! <sighs> oh, poor thing! On? Akira-kun? I'm pretty heavy, huh? Thanks for the help. No, you are not heavy! You are adorable! You are not heavy at all! Hey! Isn't Akira super reliable? I am! <laughs> Just like you were telling me. We're so high up. Why did you want to come here? I think... To settle things. To tell the truth, I wanted to reenact that moment. Wearing these clothes, standing here again. I wanted to know what it would feel like. What about back then? What were you thinking? I... I didn't want to die. And that's why she survived. If she truly intended to die, she would have that day, but... She didn't want to, she just wanted the pain to end. I just needed to escape. It was like another person inside of me was screaming, telling me to come up here. It almost felt like that person was trying to kill me. Oh. But I know that person was part of me, my weakness. So I wanted to see if she would show up again now. She's gone, isn't she? Yeah. She doesn't exist anymore. You're so strong, Shiho. The only reason you can stand here now is because of how hard you worked for your rehab. Maybe. But that was all thanks to you, On. <sighs> Me? Because I saw how hard you were trying to. Trying to be strong. To be cool. Wanting to be an action star. Striving to be a better model. You were so positive. Your eyes sparkled with, sparkled with motivation. With you putting that much effort in, I couldn't just let my life go to waste in a hospital bed. That's why I wanted to stand again. It was because of you. Being able to change others. That's what true strength is. Shiho. I'm not strong. I'm nothing without you. I'm just a lonely, scared girl. On. I'm sorry for deciding to transfer schools. Shiho. I'm... I'm gonna become a real model. That way you'll be able to keep seeing me and keep... and keep giving life your all. I'm gonna be in a bunch of magazines and I'll say tons of good stuff in interviews. So... So... Stay healthy. Work hard, but not too much, and keep in touch. Just take care of yourself. On. I love you. Once I can smile again from the bottom of my heart, I'll come visit. Yeah. Shiho left with her family. Hey. I need to be the number one model around. 
I made a promise with Shiho, so there's no turning back now. I'm gonna study how to properly exercise, and even re re uh, relearn how to walk the runway. I want to pick up on some other uh, I want to pick up some other languages and cultures too, so I can start doing overseas events. <clears throat> because, well, the only way I can help Shiho is to show her how hard I'm working. I believe in you, On. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If I can do that, Shiho, she'll definitely. Damn it! I told myself I wouldn't cry, but it just won't stop. I should choose my words carefully. I guess I'm alone again, huh? You have the others. I would say you have me, but that leads to romance, and I am a one... I am a one man, one person, you know, romance person, I guess. Because polygamy is not a thing in video games, which I feel like, you know, that should be an option. You have the others. Oh, you're right. I have our team now. There are people suffering out there, just waiting for us to save them. That's why I need to do my best. Not just for our team, but for everyone who needs our help. <laughs> Akira, let's do this together. Alright, On is showing an even greater resolve than ever before. DEEPER! Ooh, chance to shield Joker from an otherwise fatal attack. Nice. Anyway, I should be heading home. I'll be fine by myself. Oh, and thanks for going out with me today. I didn't mean it like that. Uh, of course not. Bye. See you later. <laughs> On ran off. I should go home. Yep, I should. Just a few degrees cooler would do it. Yo. Another box came for you. Hey. I got lock picks, vanish balls, and smoke screens. Oh. God, that's fantastic. I love I love that. That's good. Even though it is raining outside, we shall make time for Hifumi. That looks like a conversation. Oh? Hifumi's talking to a woman. She seems troubled again. Hmm. Well, I have the star persona. Let's help her out. That's right, your next opponent will finally be a professional. My my client's a big shot in the Pro Shogi, Associ Pro Shogi Players Association, so I worked really hard to set it up. That's... But... Hmm? Is this young man a fan of yours, Hifumi? No, mother. He's my Shogi friend. I told you about him, remember? Your Shogi friend, huh? Let me just say this. Hope you're not harboring any feelings for any weird feelings for Hifumi. I mean, I am, I am not. But why would it matter if I did? <gasps> Mother, as I'm sure you're already aware, you are not allowed to date, young lady. You started to attract a number of new male fans with all your photo spreads. Yes. Yes, Mother. You can get fifty guys like him once you're famous. God, I hate her. I need you to accomplish the things I was never able to do, and there it is! Oh my god! She's, uh, uh, like, outright admitting it! She's using her daughter to feel success! Fuck this bitch! Now I'm going to work. Don't wait up for me. I understand. Sorry. I apologize. That must have been quite a shock. You're not allowed to date? She's scary. Accomplish things? Yeah, she's scary, man. <laughs> That's quite honest of you. Not altogether inaccurate, though. My father is ill and, un and unable to work, so my mother supports us. My mother used to be a local TV announcer, but she had to quit to take care of my father. My father was a pro shogi player. He's usually calm, but when he played, <laughs> you could really feel his spirit. A lot like you. He never hesitated when making a move, just like a king. I really admired him, so I started playing Shogi too. But after pouring everything he had into Shogi, he suddenly collapsed one day. In my mother's eyes, Shogi stole both her dream and her husband. Well, I mean... 
that's not exactly what happened. I mean, sure, but... God, I mean, like, hard to argue that point, though. And yet she tells me to keep playing. She wants me to achieve her dreams. I should be working to help support us. I want to become a professional. Future Brandon, I'm gonna have to fix that. Uh, take it back. <clears throat> I want to become a professional so that I can make enough money to ease my parents' burdens. Um... I do photo shoots and interviews hoping they'll add some money to our household income. But honestly, it's quite difficult for me. Hmm. You don't like the attention. You should stop then. Have you told your mother? You should stop then. I'm happy that you're so concerned about me. But when I think about my mother, I... No one sees me as a shogi player anymore. They no longer recognize my skills. I'm not playing shogi in the hopes of, be of becoming an idol. I simply love my family, and I want to support them through our troubles. <sighs> this isn't good. I shouldn't be focusing on such negative topics before a match. Well then, let's play. Today I'm going to be throwing a lot of offensive moves at you. Offensive, huh? Are you going to be criticizing, like, my hair or my glasses? Or, you know, telling me, uh, you know, I can never be your boyfriend? Because that would be very sad and offensive to me. Uh, this will teach you how to escape from disadvantaged situations. Oh, nice! Her trust with me is growing deeper! Ooh, allows you to attempt an escape when you were surrounded by an enemy. Nice, All that'll right. be useful in case that, you know, happens, which has been known to happen. Are you ready? That aura. My right eye is twitching. Now, it is time to unleash my hidden evil eye! I'll start. Now, to a fair match. God, I love her. She's so hot. My knowledge increased! Hooray! Until next time. Whew, that wasn't so bad. Let's continue our lessons next time. Oh, hello. Do you have a moment? I apologize for my mother's rude behavior earlier. She's been on edge lately. My male fans are beginning to concern her. She didn't mean to offend you at all. I hope you'll accept my apology in her place. Eh, no worries. You have a lot to deal with. Why do you have to apologize? That was my question. Uh, you have a lot to deal with. My apologies. I didn't mean to cause you any unnecessary worry. I'll be sure to talk to her about you. No doubt my lack of skill is what caused my mother to be so hypersensitive. I intend to improve my skills so I can become an established player and put my mother at ease. So then, let us both work hard for our goals. Goodbye for now. Oh, she's nice. I like her. Ooh, more about Eiko. Hey, I'd like to talk with you about Eiko again. Please come to school when you have the opportunity. Alrighty. Well, it's good news because that's what we're doing today. We're hanging out with Makoto. All we can do now is wait. Alright. Oh, shoot. I thought I didn't know she was going to launch into that. My bad. Oh, I spoke with Eiko and she said her boyfriend was okay with the double date idea. She asked me to show her uh, your picture, though. Apparently she thinks you look a little lame. She told me that my boyfriend isn't in the same league as Tsukasa. But I bet she'll change her mind once she sees you in person. Do you have time to Don't worry, me? I'll back you up. Alrighty. My current charm. I shall pretend to be your boyfriend. Shall we go? Yo, my name's Sukasa. I heard all about you two from Eiko. So I heard you're the student council prez, Makoto-chan. I totally wish I could be one of your council members. Uh, oh, uh, um... Yes, I am. Totally. Four Eyes, here is your boyfriend, yeah? Yeah. Huh. Looks like you guys don't get along good, though. It's like your love level's rock bottom. Are you seriously dating? Uh, love comes in many forms. Well, right. Um, 
He doesn't really like it when I get all clingy with him. Oh, I get it. You just don't got any affection compared to us. Mm-hmm. Hey, babe. Uh, did you do something special today? I remember you looking this sexy. Osukasa! <sighs> hmm. Sorry, I have to use the bathroom. Later, lovebird. Excuse me. Um, there's something I'd like to ask you. Are you serious about pursuing a relationship with Aiko? Aha! I was wondering when our honor student was gonna show her true colors. That reminds me. Aiko said you were real pumped about getting to know me. Why is that, huh? I just wanted to make sure you're good for her. Damn, girl! You really care about your friends. Good stuff. I always say, friends are like super important and shit. Speaking of which, a friend of my GF is totally a friend of mine. How about you tell me your digits? Huh? What's wrong? Come on, give me your number. I, um... Oh, I, I, I... Back off, bro! Here's my number instead! Nobody asked you, four eyes. Anyways, Eko already gave me uh, yours, Mako-chan. We're good. Whoa! <sighs> I do have one more question to ask. You're not bringing Eito, e Eiko to your club, are you? What? You're suspecting me? I wouldn't dream of it. It's a damn shame people think us hosts are just flirts. But my love with Eiko is pure as snow. Don't twist the story. Huh? Is something wrong? Oh, I was just getting to know your little friend here, honey. Well, I should get going. I gotta be at work soon. Ah, uh, me too. Bye! Hmm. I hope he's not tricking her. I don't trust him. He seems like an asshole. No matter what I think, I still don't have any proof. And above all, Eiko seems really happy until bad stuff happens. Am I just getting in the way of their happiness? No, you're being considerate. I suppose so. I mean, I really am worried about Eiko here. In the end, I know this is just a hunch, but my father always stressed how important it is to trust your hunches. Seems that host has sent me something already. What is this supposed to be... What is this supposed to be saying? It's just full of emojis. It's me, Sukasa, heart emoji. I know we just met, but I couldn't wait to phone emoji you. I'm so happy to be friends with you, Mako-chan. Clapping emoji, clapping emoji, hot spring emoji. What? I don't even understand half of that. I mean, like, I know I'm a millennial, but still, like, how, how do, like, what the fuck is that? It's like, it was like hieroglyphics. I was barely a coherent sentence, but I'll need to get used to that if I'm going to help Eiko. Thank you very much. By the way, I'm glad you were here with me. I would have really panicked had I been alone. I honestly despise how immature I can be sometimes. I'm working through that with your help, so thank you. I sense her trust in me. Deeper! All right. Shall we go? We should get going too. I'll let you know if anything else comes up. All right then. Goodbye. All righty. Oh, one more. Hey, Akira. Thanks so much for everything today. I feel strangely exhausted. It reminds me of when we went to the Red Light District. Even after we split ways, the host kept sending me messages. He used these weird symbols. I have no idea what he's saying. I want to ignore him, but I shouldn't for Eiko's sake. Hmm. 
tell him you're on a date. Fire the same thing back. You're allowed to ignore him, huh? Hmm. Tell him you're on a date. Oh yeah, that'd be a good excuse to ignore him. You have some great uh, ideas. Thanks. I'll try responding with that. If I was if I was going for Makoto, then I'd be like, hey, we can make it official. I'll just go on actual dates with you every time he does that. That's you know, because we're friends. Yes, that's exactly why. No, I don't want to go out. No, I. Right now, I am saving myself for best girl Kasumi. Okay, I'm doing that. I'm good. I are a good boyfriend. I am a good fake boyfriend. I just can't shake these doubts about Aiko's boyfriend. I can't tell if he's a bad guy. But he doesn't seem on the level either. I need a little more information. Thanks for all your advice. I'll talk to you later. Man, it's hot. Indeed it is. And now we're gonna go hang out with our good friend, uh, Ketchy. Hey, Kurusukun. Good evening. Hey, do you ever go to, uh, to arcades? I've never been to places like that, so I'm pretty interested. If you're so inclined, shall we visit one together? Well, let's do it. What do you want to do? <clears throat> I think there's a game center around here. Let's get going. Sorry to bother you. Sorry for dragging you out here. I was out here gathering intel and I noticed some patrons playing this. I'm doing a bit of research. Apparently it's a pretty hardcore shooter game. Do you normally play games like these? All the time! I do actually, I love, I, whenever I go to arcades I love games like that. Oh, maybe you've played this one before? I can only ask that you go easy on me. Holy hell! Damn, that's some accuracy. The guy with the brown hair isn't wasting a single shot. Glasses isn't bad either, but he's definitely losing ground. Whew, my fingers are going to be sore tomorrow. What a realistic game. Are you used to gunplay? That's what I want to ask, because I mean, like, he seemed to know what he was doing. Have you noticed? Oh, you noticed? Well, I'll need as much practice as I can if I'm going to take, take you out. Only a joke. <laughs> oh my god, he let a little bit of like... Oh god, he let a little bit of like the, 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 the truth slip out. I love it. I'm new to this, I'm afraid. Perhaps we'll chalk it up to beginner's luck. Still, this did feel a bit nostalgic for me. I had a toy gun like this when I was young, you know. All this reminded me of running around the house with it, playing hero. You wanted to be a hero? Very interesting. Uh, hard to imagine. Huh. You wanted to be a hero? I don't know that I agree. I'm not totally certain, but thinking back, I suppose I must have. Of course, there are different kinds of heroes, of course. Uh, but there are different kinds of heroes, of course. Different stances they define themselves by. For example, one may stick to the vision of justice they believe in, even if others deny it. While another simply, while another may simply do as others desire of them, seeking to be recognized and gratified as a hero. So, which of those two fit more with your concept of a hero? Sticking to your justice, honestly. <laughs> hmm. Well, I had a feeling you'd say that. But, if nobody else wants the justice they fight for, isn't that just blind self-righteousness? I apologize. Ah, sorry. I suppose that was a strange uh, tangent. Pardon me. Whenever I talk to you, I just can't help delving into these abstract topics. Hooray! Our bond has grown deeper! Deeper! We're ranking up with a lot of folks. I like it. Goodness. I worked up a sweat playing that game. I must smell like the arcade now. I could use a shower. Why don't we call it a day? After one game? We will meet really? Up. Really, bro? That's all it takes? Hmm, well, that's sad for you. Well, actually, it does depend on how long they were there. They may have been there for several hours. 
Hey, I want to express my gratitude again for today. Thank you for hanging out with me. I had quite a lot of fun. I don't play these games too often, so I honestly wasn't sure how well I'd do. Hopefully I didn't come off as too much of a novice. I wish I'd played better. Uh, you did fine. Ha! <laughs> you were getting cocky. Still have a long ways to go. Uh, you were getting cocky. <laughs> you don't hold back, do you? I'm surprisingly competitive, too. I suppose if you're that worked up, it means you truly don't want to lose to me. I didn't know you had a side like that. I'll accept a rematch anytime. Still, games are rather fun. It was quite a novel experience. Usually I just read in my leisure time. Hmm. It offered more realism than I expected, and I was impressed by how immersive it felt. Usually I struggle with enjoying the same pastimes as my peers, but thanks to you I had fun today. I hope you can join me again if you get the chance. Now, I'll talk to you later. Wonders Day! Alrighty. Today is the day we hang out with best girl, Kasumi! Hello, senpai. Do you have some free time today? Whenever's convenient for you is fine, but I'm waiting in Kichijoji. What's the plan? You gonna go see Yoshizawa? I am! Hell to the yeah! Hello. Hello, senpai. It's really sunny today. Be sure to stay hydrated. I'm thinking of doing a different kind of training than usual. What do you think? Do you have time to try it out right now? Alrighty, I feel like I can become closer to her. Hooray! Oh, senpai! You really are ready! <laughs> We're going to the batting cages. I hope you're excited. Wow, that'll be awesome. Um. Probably didn't expect to be meeting me at the batting center, huh? Well, it's a surprise, yeah. Not at all. What are you scheming, you adorable little girl? Not little girl. I keep... She's short and she's tiny and she's adorable! I thought so, but I'm glad you decided to humor me. Batting helps train your reflexes and dynamic vision. It also strengthens your stance. And really, those are important elements in gymnastics too. It all sounds pretty plausible, right? Actually, I just wanted to come here. Honestly, I wanted to... I wanted you to see me hit a home run. Oh! Seems kind of sudden. Um. <clears throat> I remember something from when I was little. My father used to take me to the batting cages a lot. The other kids were scared of getting hit by the, by the baseballs, but I just loved swinging the bat around. Every time I hit one, I kept thinking, it doesn't matter how fast they are, I'll slam them into orbit! I thought if I tried to put myself back in that headspace, I could get some ideas on how to get my boldness back. What do you think? That could work, right? Go ahead, I'll watch. Hmm, it's a good idea. Go ahead, I'll watch. Maybe stick to gymnastics. That would just be horrible to say. Why would I say that? Uh, go ahead, I'll watch. <laughs> I feel so energized now. I'll show you what I can do, Kurusu Senpai. Oh god, it's because Senpai is watching her! That makes all the sense. My turn. Next up to the plate, Kasumi Yoshizawa. Here I go. Now, come on. Were they always this fast? I'll get the next one. Okay, no more warm-ups. From now on, I'm gonna be- it's gonna be 100% home runs. Eep! What the- I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I knew I was rusty, but I didn't expect to miss all of them. I never see the ball coming. I keep flinching. I didn't think my slump was hitting me this hard. Don't give up! Just don't lose hope. You can beat this, right? Don't give up yet! Senpai. You're right. I'll give it one more shot. It's 
Stay calm. Don't be scared. Eyes on the ball. My Here I go! Come on! Yeah. What? I did it! We did I did it, Senpai! I hit the ball! Congratulations! I saw! How's that feel? Uh, let's see here. Uh, I saw! Senpai noticed you! I knew you were watching me. That's how I did my best. Up until now, I've only been working for myself. I was so desperate to make a good impression. Since I started hanging out with you, Kurusu Senpai, I started feeling like I just wanted to live up to your expectations. That feeling's helped. Uh, that feeling's helped me feel so much stronger. I've forgotten how it felt to work that hard on someone else's behalf. That's important. Don't forget how that feels. Thank you so much. Right. Thank you very much. Ever since I met you, Senpai, I've been discovering so many things about myself. But now, I feel like I'm stronger than ever to... I feel like I'm closer than ever to getting my confidence back. Please, listen to oh, me. Oh, right. I've been uh, feeling a lot more limber and energized lately, too. I'm not totally back to normal yet, but even my grades have been going back up. Well, nicely done. Thank you very much. Yes. Yeah. Still need to show you what I can do. Next time, you won't have to watch me fumbling with a bat. I'll show you an all-new, full-power gymnastics routine. I can sense Kasumi's uh, intense trust in me. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast birthed a bond clad in the heart's strength. Whoa, that's her voice. This union, born and embraced by will unyielding, <clears throat> shall become the balefire that lights thy This heart. is completely new. I've never seen this before or heard this. Thou hast gained a glimpse of the faith's truth, granting thee further power to tread the abyss. What? Deeper? What? All right. I'm very confused. Anyways, we still got a lot to hit. I guess it's your turn, Senpai. Give it all the guts you've got. Smash it into outer space. Okay. I sweated it out in a batting session with Kasumi. Oh, sorry. I need to get going. Good effort. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for today. Hooray! We did it, I guess. Oh, Kurusu Senpai, thank you so much for coming with me today. Well, if you put it like that, I'm gonna get ideas. I haven't swung a bat in a while. My arms still feel kind of weird. I was kind of hoping to knock it out with a clang, but I was just happy I managed to hit the ball. It's nice to dip into sports aside from gymnastics. Was there something else you wanted to try, Senpai? Swimming, running, and gymnastics. Uh, swimming, I like swimming. Plus... I would love to see her in a swimsuit. Just pointing that out. Oh, swimming! That's a great full body exercise. Good for uh, for well balanced muscle tone. And since it's not as stressful on your bones and joints, it enhances your cardiopulmonary functions as well. Perhaps we can go next time. Or wait, do I even own a swimsuit? You really should get one. I don't think I have anything other than leotards. Um, I have a request for you, Kurusu Senpai. Can I ask you to join me for more uh, things from now on? When I'm with you, I feel so much more capable. Whether you just want to go train or just hang out and chat, please reach out whenever. Okay, I'll let you go. Oh, I do want to spend more time with her. Slam the hammer of justice. Uh, Eleven days until uh, Medjid's deadline. Did the fantasies just decide to ignore it? I heard info about another scandal got leaked. Stocks have been falling ever since. Who's going to take responsibility for this? I mean, the companies that probably did the embezzling probably should, but you know. Rain, that's just huh? me. This is bad. The cleanse is fast approaching. 
We're not going to make it if we can't come up with a solution. Speaking of that medjet shit, people are talking about those leaks everywhere I go. The noose is starting to tighten around our necks. Futaba will save us! Yes, she will! I have my hopes, but isn't it dangerous to put all your eggs in one basket? Our only saving grace is that Medjet seems intent on sticking to their planned date. We just gotta keep trying until that day comes, yeah? Yes. No point in complaining about it now. Let's continue our efforts. Alrighty, and tonight, we hang out with Mr. Moon Man! Which I believe Moon is... Um, Brain, you can do this. Uh, Mishima! What up, bro? Wow, this is amazing. Oh, rain came out of nowhere. Some guy from the fandom was even asking you guys to bring him an umbrella. Sheesh, the fandom aren't some kind of delivery service. We could do that, though. My god, we could do that! Alrighty. Let's hang out with Mishima. Come on, let's get going! Um, so, how go the activities? Actually, I already know. The fan site uh, has been crazy busy thanks to you guys. Why is there a gun on the table? That, that should not be there! This book here is actually about the latest security technology. And this, um, a model gun. Cost me a lot of money. It almost looks real. No. Well, yeah. That just goes to show how special it is. I heard they had to be completely... Uh, I heard they had to completely halt production because people kept mistaking it for a real gun. It was suggested to me by this military buff from the fandom. I figured I could uh, use its, uh, use a bit of security since I'm the sole admin of the whole site. I mean, you guys are getting really popular. There's been a lot, of, uh, a lot more info on the forum lately, too. Some of the sup up there is pretty scary, so it seems like I might need a little protection. Well, don't do anything stupid, bro. No. This is just for self-defense. I mean, people might come after me if they found out I was working with the Phantom Thieves, right? Yeah, but it's a model gun. It's not going to do anything. Eh. But as I was saying, we've had a massive influx of new posts on the forum lately. One of them seems uh, particularly worthwhile. It's bigger than anything we've seen, we've done so far. But if we really want the Phantom, if blah, 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 but if we really want to make the Phantom Thieves famous, we'll need to go after some flashier targets. <laughs> Leave this to me, though. I'll get all the info we need, even if I have to put myself in danger to do it. Please don't. That is not what I want. No, no, Akira, no! Why is there a golden motorcycle deeper? Why is there a golden golden motorcycle here? Mishima's des desperation. Increase XP earned by backup members. Alrighty. By the way, um, uh, do I look any different to you? Nope. Actually... People keep telling me it seems like I've changed recently. I guess I can't hide my newfound confidence, huh? My true worth will finally... Well, 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 if it isn't Mishima. Akiyama-kun. Long time no see, Zero. You know, you've been sitting, uh, just... You know, we've been sitting over there the whole time, but we didn't even notice you sitting there. You weren't exactly the same as you were back in middle school, Mishima. Yeah, once a zero, always a zero. Yeah, <laughs> You haven't changed your cell number, have you? Uh, no, I haven't. Then why don't we, why don't you, uh... uh why don't you come to our hangout? All our ex-classmates were there, you know. Oh wait, nobody even remembered you existed. I <laughs> can't invite a guy you can't remember, right? Right. <laughs> God, they're assholes. Come on, guys, let's go. <laughs> Finally found his voice. It's just... It's not what it looks like, okay? You know that one guy in every class who ends up being the butt of all the jokes? That guy was me. Damn it. But I've changed now. I can help you. 
I'm not gonna be that boring guy anymore. Sorry. Sorry about that. Anyway, it's getting late. We should probably head home. Well, see you later. Alrighty. Oh, Kurusu? Just so you know, I'm gonna work even harder. Not just in managing the fan site, but also help uh, the Phantom Thieves' household names. I'm gonna do everything in my power so you can kick back and relax. Uh, I expect great things. Alright, did something happen? Alright! Thanks, Kurusu. I'm really lucky to have a friend like you. You guys just go ahead and focus on changing those bad guys' hearts. Well, I'll do that then, okay. Okay, I better go. We'll talk once, uh, we'll talk again soon, okay? Mm. Uh, who could it be at this hour? Of course it's Yusuke! Yusuke always comes just to hang out! Alrighty, so today we're hanging out with Makoto again. Thank you. Alright, we're, so we're going to the student council room, we is. <sighs> Eiko's boyfriend, Tsukasa, has been sending me a lot of texts recently. His days and nights are reserved due to his work, so he often sends me a good morning uh, late at night. Yeah, do you think he likes you? What is... Aiko, no. Does Aiko know about this? I'm not sure. I definitely tell Aiko if he asks me on a date. But for now, things are generally pretty normal. Like, most messages like "How's your BF?" and "Hope you had a great day today." Hmm. Do you think their relationship could actually be serious? Was I just biased? Was I just biased to think that all he wants from Aiko is her money? Mm -hmm. He's definitely suspicious. Yes. I mean, it does sound like a TV show. A lying host that tricks women into debt and forces them to sell their bodies. But those kinds of things exist in reality as well. Immoral hosts, human trafficking rings. My father even mentioned to me about gangs of men that... Uh, look specifically for depressed women in Shinjuku. It they take advantage seems... of the loneliness these girls feel to force them into horribly abusive situations. Then after ensuring the girls are buried in crippling debt, they make them sell their bodies to pay it off. There are other ways they force girls into it as well. Blackmail, illegal immigration. There are countless victims of schemes like that. Countless gangs as well. My father was going after a particular, particularly notorious one when... Oh boy. In the course of his investigation, he was hit by an errant truck. The impact killed him instantly. At first it was thought to be an accident. But at the funeral, I overheard my father's superior speaking to my sister. <laughs> He was saying my father had likely been assassinated. He suspected the gang he was investigating hired the driver. Hmm. What gang was it? I don't know. Driver died on impact as well, but apparently they found drugs in his bloodstream. Either way, the gang has been pushed back into the shadows thanks to the Shinjuku cleanup operation. I'm not sure any of that would have happened if not for the incident with my father. It's a horrible story. Was it tough without him? He was a noble man. Indeed he was. He truly was, wasn't he? Wish I could be a little more like him myself. Instead, I've just been hesitant. That's actually why my sister became a prosecutor to begin with. She couldn't stand by and watch as evil prevailed over justice. That passion undoubtedly came from our father. Our mother passed away many years back, so when our father was killed, we had to survive on our own. The responsibility, the pressure of all that fell on my sister. 
Because of that, she couldn't help but talk down on our father at times. She says death is no different than surrender. Mm, that's not really fair. But I still look up to him, and it's not like he planned to die. <clears throat> I was often lonely because of how much time he spent at work. But seeing him tire tirelessly pursue one case after the next was nothing short of incredible. That was how my father chose to live his life, trying to bring justice and order to the world around him. That's admirable. Yes. Yeah. Come to think of it, there was something he used to say to me all the time. The most important part of your life is how you choose to live it. Hmm. How have I chosen to live? And more importantly, how do I want to live? Do you have an answer? And you can figure that out now. I see. Now? You're right. I can still change my path going forward. To be honest, I've been determined to follow the path my sister laid for me. After my father's death, I wanted to lighten the burden on her as much as I possibly could. Oh, we were supposed to be talking about Eiko here. Sorry for going off topic. That's fine. I enjoy learning more about you. You know, I never actually talked to anyone about my father. It's a painful memory to look back on. But I feel comfortable discussing it with you. And beyond that, I think I understand my life a, a bit better now. Thank you very much. Oh. I can sense a deep bond of trust from Makoto. Deeper! Allows you to see a null repel and drain when highlighting uh ooh when highlighting a target in battle. That's nice. Alright. Hmm? Oh, it's Aiko gloating again. Maybe I'll like skip college and just get married to Sukasa instead. I guess she's choosing how she wants to live, too. As long as she's sure she'll be happy. Another message, huh? You serious about Krusukun? Want to have a double wedding? Ha. Uh, <laughs> ha Ooh, boy. I'm game if you are. Don't be ridiculous. I couldn't even begin thinking, uh, I couldn't even begin to think about marriage at this point in my life. By the way, can you keep pretending to be my boyfriend for a bit longer? That's the best method I have of keeping tabs on Eiko and Tsukasa. At any rate, thanks for listening to me today. I'll let you know if anything urgent comes up. Alright then. Alright then, alrighty then indeed. Oh boy. Hey, do you have time right now? Sorry for venting so much before. I just wanted to talk about Aiko, but I got a little off topic. Thanks for still pretending to be my boyfriend, too. I don't trust Aiko's boyfriend yet, so can we keep this up until I make a call one way or the other? Well, of course. It's the role I always hoped for, yeah, of course. If I was going for her, I would have chosen, like, you know, it's the role I always hoped for. Thanks, I'm counting on you. Let's see how convincing a boyfriend you can be. I can be very convincing! Very much so! We shall go on dates and have the sex! That's what boyfriends do, yes? Ah, you're back. Alrighty, so tonight we are going to feed the plant. Yeah! Finally got to rank four. I am the selfless. Alrighty, so we're just gonna... We're doing the verification test, but it's... Uh, we're uh, not leveling up with her tonight. We're not going deeper with Chihaya tonight. Yep. We're just making it so that the next time we hang out with her, we do. Hooray! The 12th! Only 10 days left until Medjed's deadline. 
What are the Phantom Thieves doing? Are they just going to let Medjet have their way? What is Medjet trying to do? Is this really going to affect us? We have nothing to do with this. Don't you worry, friends. I'll take care of this. I know what I'm doing, kinda. Sort of. Maybe. A little bit. Alrighty, and today we're hanging out with best boy Yusuke we is. By the way, thank you. Thank you for your assistance today. After all, it would be impossible to sketch while rowing. What are we doing here? Why are we in a boat? Should've brought a girl here. Why are we in a boat? What other reason could there be but to sketch my next motif? I'll be counting on your cooperation today. By which I of course mean your... or work. Look at the ducks! They're so cute! Haha! <laughs> Don't get too excited, you'll fall off, you know? Perfect. This is it. My previous painting captured only one aspect of the heart. Desire. As such, I was unable to arrive at a truly authentic representation. That is why we have come here today. I shall paint a second aspect. The burning passion between man and woman. <laughs> Fittingly, our theme today will be the wonders of love. You too will have an important role here. While I draw, ensure the boat remains as steady as possible amid these devilish ripples. <laughs> this angle. Incredible! <laughs> that bashful side profile, those moist eyes, their overflowing passion is wholly evident. They are akin to Adam and Eve, yet in time all lovers must come to know the pain of separation. Separation is the natural end to any such relationship, but even beyond that, love endures. Precisely. This is the truth of the human heart. <laughs> it will make the most wonderful painting. It shall be adored by all who gaze upon it. It may even be given top prize in the next ex exhibition. Wait, now is not the time to be thinking such trivial matters. Hey. Could you please remain still? What? Return to your prior angle. I must capture your profile. What the hell are you doing? Rejoice, for I shall preserve your beautiful love so that, uh, so that all coming generations may bask in its glory. Once I complete this painting, you will become new legends in the art world. A modern Adam and Eve. Legends? Art? This dude's off his rocker. Come on, let's report him. Hold on a sec. Are you drawing us? What? You're using us as models? Yes. A man and woman intimately swaying in the dinghy of dreams. The blush of their cheeks. The bashful looks. Yes, this is the love I was so emphatically searching for. Love? I guess you could call it that, but it's kind of weird. It's familial love. This here's my sister. Oh, I told you I didn't want to come here with you. The only ones who do this crap are stupid couples. I've always dreamed of coming to Tokyo and riding a boat. Thought I was supposed to be with my boyfriend, not my brother. How could Familial. This be? So that overflowing passion was just a figment of my imagination. Seems my bias caused me to be overcome. <laughs> uh, it seems. Oh God. It seems my bias has caused me to overlook the truth of the matter. Well, love comes in all forms, this is true. Love is a broad, multifaceted beast. This only serves to prove how narrow my prospect has been. I see. How romantic love... Hmm. Romantic love and familial love. The two may be nigh in dis indiscernible depending on one's viewpoint. Perhaps hmm. the truth of the heart lies in the eye of the beholder. What kind of beholder? Because all I'm thinking is this right now. Like the beholder from, you know, D&D. Ugh! Ah! Go away! Go away! Why is it getting bigger? Oh, oh thank God it's gone. Oh, it's gone. Ah! Why, future Brandon? Why must you be a dick? Akira, I feel as though I've learned something today. Well, that's good. 
feel a quiet resolve from Yusuke. Deeper! Ooh, if negotiating with a lone shadow fails, you can try again. Hooray! All right. Wait, so only couples ride these things? That means those two. Shh. There are people from all walks of life here in the city. Oh, tell me more. What are you talking about? Let us return. Oh, well. It is about time we return home. Row us back to shore, Akira. I, I... God, like, scenes like that do make me wish that you could have... Like, I, th th that the main character was bisexual if you wanted them to be that way. I, I wish that the game would let you do that. But uh, maybe in future installments it will. But, you know... I have a feeling they would have a, like, a bisexual, like, lady before they'd have a bisexual man. I think I mentioned that once before, too. But either way, you know, like, you know, Atlas, make it so! Akira, thank you for all your help today. I'm certain, <clears throat> I've certainly come to realize my lack of experience. It would seem I understand nothing of love after all. Well, then again, you were never shown real love in your whole life, so I'm not that surprised. I mean, the only bit of love he's really had is his mother's painting. You know, because all the, you know, quote-unquote love that he got from Madarame was false. Though I've progressed by one step, there's no doubt I will face many difficulties moving forward. When will I finally understand the heart? Eve, even if I ever do understand it, will I truly be able to draw it? Well, don't get discouraged. Uh, just keep drawing. You lack love yourself. Well, that's mean. But don't get discouraged. You're right. I have no intention whatsoever of giving up. I will do everything in my power to get past this. Anyhow, today was a significant use of time. Impressive oarmanship from your end as well. Well, thank you. I hope I can count on your help next time as well. For now, farewell. Man, it's hot. I'll Nine more this. days until the cleanse. Dear God, we're, we're slowly making our way through this. I'm hoping to get at least close to the cleanse by the end of this episode, depending upon... Because basically it's just a shit ton of, um... Like, this is when... Oh my God, future Brandon, you have to name this episode... Episode Going Deeper with Friends or something like that. Alright, tonight we're gonna hang out with the devil lady. Alrighty. A fan site? Oh, you mean the fandom aficionado website? I didn't know it was so popular with high school kids. I've been paying... I haven't been paying much attention to it. If it isn't newsworthy, I guess I should keep tabs on it. Uh, but but if it's newsworthy, I should keep tabs on it. Sorry. The phantom... Uh, blah, blah, blah. The phantom thieves must uh, really... Uh, must be really bored if they're going after small-time criminals now. I have a theory they're all miners, and their leader is some simpleton dying from boredom. Miners can't do that stuff, uh, you might be right. You shouldn't make assumptions, they're always dangerous. Haha, <laughs> you're right. My theory is definitely half-assed at best. Plus, it only takes a second to change- Plus, if it only takes a second to change someone's heart, it totally wouldn't be bored. Well, I'm not really interested in writing uh, entertainment articles on whatever fads caught on. But they really do well, right? Some journalists who were in here seem frustrated about that. Journalists? Oh, you mean the cow and the others? Shit. Really lump me in with those hyenas? Ha! Don't insult me. People at work call them paparazzi behind their backs, but me, I'm a real journalist. I say while drinking and not actually being a journalist. <laughs> I'm sure you are. Hey, I wasn't looking for some kid to butt in. Entertainment articles are all about selling copies. The truth doesn't even matter. Nobody wants to read real news. Uh... Why not change careers, you know? Never. But at this rate, you... If I quit now, it'd be the same as declaring my partner guilty. Damn. 
joint responsibility. What a joke. She didn't do anything. That's why I can't quit. Why I'll never give up. Hmm. What was she accused of? What happened? Was she falsely accused? That she was falsely accused? Of course she was. I mean, never mind. <laughs> Thanks to you, I've had more time to focus on my own investigation. I'm going to write an article that you'll really enjoy. Think of it as a sign of my appreciation. <laughs> I can see it now. Exclusive. Behind the Incredible Phantom Thieves. Dial 911 for justice. How's that sound? Stupid. Very stupid. I'd read it. Haha. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll take it seriously. After all, that's what I promised you. Hmm. A deal with Oya seems to be progressing smoothly. Deeper! Security levels uh, uh, raises slowly and lowers upon defeating an ambushed enemy. Nice. All right. Cool. You sure are weird, though, coming all the way to Shinjuku at night. Hello? Mm hmm. Wait, what? Can I talk with him? Really? Okay, I'll be right there. Work? Nah, I'm already off the clock. Sorry, I have some urgent business I need to attend to. Just put this one on my tab, Lala-chan. See ya! Well then. Jeez, she's such a child. She gets so excited the moment something comes up about her favorite assignment. Anyways, shouldn't you be uh, getting home too? I was able to pique Oya's interest with the stories of Phantom Thieves. My charm has increased! Hooray! My charm is already max. Yusuke, I swear to God. Oh, it's Ryuji. Well... I don't have a console. So he wants to play video games. Maybe I sh I, I probably should have read that, but I thought it was the same thing as before? Like, just saying, like, coming to hang out, but, you know. Oh. Ooh, a message from Aiko. Aiko contacted me. She said she wants to talk. I've held off on giving her a solid response yet. Then, when I tried to ask for more details, she simply says she wants to talk about it in person. If it's okay with you, do you think we could go see her together? Well... We actually will do that today. That's what we're doing today. Nice. Oh. No, oh, whoopsie. Strong button. Alrighty. <clears throat> Thank you. It'll be great. It'll be greatly assuring to have you with me, Akira. Aiko and I will be meeting up at Big Bang Burger. I'll go ahead. I'll uh, see you there. Alrighty. Let's do it. Is something the so, matter? what did you want to talk about? Well, um, I'm wondering if you could maybe lend me some cash. Whoa. What? <laughs> it's nothing real major. I just, like... I just... I, I, but I need it, like, right now. I'll, I'll pay you back, though. Honest. Please. Does this have to do with Tsukasa? Mm-hmm. He dropped a super expensive bottle uh, of sake at work, so the club's making him pay for it. But he needs help. How He's lying to you, Eiko. Don't give him any money. He's not lying! I know you're all weird about the fact that he's a host, but Tsukasa's not like that! He's really gentle and honest, too. He even calls me princess! I'm the only one he says that to, you know. He says it's because I'm special. He calls you a special princess? What do you think, Akira? And he says that to all the girls. That's what I think. That's how he ropes you in. And he says that to all his girls. I have to agree. Every girl who gives him money is his princess. That way he can never get their names mixed up. Don't accuse him of that stuff. You don't have any proof. You're not wrong about that. But... But... 
Did you ask anyone at his club about the broken bottle? Well, um, no. He told me not to talk to them about it, though. He's too proud to have me go crying to his boss. Please, Makoto, you're the only person I can trust. All my other friends would rather focus on cram school and entrance exams than take time to help me. And who knows where would my parents say if I tried to ask them. Please, even a little. I think you should end your relationship with him. If you don't put a stop to this, he might drag you into some suspicious line of work. Oh, he's already got a job. Oh, oh, he's already got me a job. It's nothing weird, though. <clears throat> I just served drinks at a bar to help him pay off that broken bottle. He said I'll be number one in no time. <sighs> Maybe I'll just keep doing it after I graduate from high school. I mean, it's not like I'm going to go to college. Eiko! You can't do... You, you can't just do what he says. He's trying to deceive you. Smart person like you totally wouldn't understand what it's like. You're just gonna go to a good college and work at a fancy company, and then what? At the end of the day, your life's gonna be totally boring. I mean, is that seriously how you want to live? I'm... I'm not sure yet. But be that as it may, you should still stay far away from him. Still stay as far away from him as you can. So you're not gonna help me? Just forget it. I can make it up if I just let some customers take me out on dates after work. Eiko, wait! I didn't want to tell you this, but Tsukasa has been texting me constantly. Recently, he's been asking if my sister and I live alone, that he'd be glad to help us out. Even today, he asked me if I'm still happy with my boyfriend. Listen to me, Eiko. He's not serious about you. Don't give me that crap! Tsukasa's just so nice that he'd worry about my friends for me. Wait, you were texting him behind my back? What the hell, Makoto? It's mostly him texting me. Ah, you have the grades, the looks, a cool boyfriend. You seriously still want more? Tsukasa's all I have! You can't take him from me! That's not what I'm trying to do! Yeah, right, just keep your hands off! I'd never forgive you if you stole him away, Makoto. Well, that... that did not go well. That all. Do you want me to break his legs? I'll break that guy's legs. Oh, whoopsie. I should've read that. Tsukasa is all she has? You know... I think she's exactly the kind of girl these gangs in Shinjuku are on the lookout for. Lonely, depressed girls who have nowhere to vent their frustrations. Eiko's family is quite well off. Her multi-talented younger brother seems to be the sole focus of her parents' attention, though. I'm sure that's why she fell for Tsukasa in the first place. He treats her like she's special. But asking a high schooler for money isn't normal boyfriend behavior. Like, not that much, anyway. She needs to realize that. You're gonna help, right? Of course I am! Absolutely! Thank you very much. <sighs> Thank you. It's assuring to hear you say that. Eiko's blessed to have both money and a family, yet she's still trying to break free from them. She's almost the exact opposite of me. But, but I guess, in a sense, watching her now is almost like looking back at my past self. I was so blinded by my own convictions that I never stopped to consider other alternative viewpoints in the, on the world. But that's not the right way to live. I want to show her that, just like you did for me. All right. We have gone deeper. Deeper! Hooray! She can now endure! I know she wants me to stay out of her business, but I'd never forgive myself if I let this come to pass. What is the right way to live? At any rate, we're going to catch that horrible host. I'll let you know once I've thought of how to do it. See you later. Thank you again for today. I'll see you later. Ah, you're back. Alrighty. And tonight we're gonna hang out with our wonderful Shogi friend. Hello, wonderful Shogi friend. 
Thank you very much. Actually... I really didn't... I should have read all of that. I was thinking of going to the area around the Sky Tree today. Let's head over. This is it. The digital version of the weekly magazine. My father's deteriorating health. And that he's bedridden. The fact that my mother primarily supports us. They even reported that my mother works at a nightclub. Which is not untrue, but was it really necessary for them to write about all this? Capitalizing on my family's privacy is just cruel. My family's troubles have nothing to do with my skills as a shogi player. My mother was furious when she read the article. She said it'll hurt her career and that she'll never forgive whoever wrote it. My father didn't say anything, he just sat there listening to her. But he looked troubled. My mother told me that we'd be able to easily quell these rumors if I were to become more famous. Sounds like a plot to me. So now she's even more insistent on having me do more TV and magazine interviews than before. Well, mm, isn't that frustrating? The media's scary, you'll be famous. Isn't that frustrating? Is that frustrating? Sorry. Yes. <clears throat> Although I can't express that to my mother, she's so happy for me. Um... I always believed that if I worked hard as a shogi player, I'd be able to support us. But I never expected such a destructive article would be written about me and my family. If I'm remembering her, I think like the mother purposefully had that written to push her into it, but I don't remember. Honestly, nothing good will come from being treated like an idol. People say I'm all looks and no skills. They're annoyed that I'm in the press all the time. Terrible things have been said about me, suggesting I would do anything to become popular. I'm even starting to be shunned in the shogi world. That's why my senior acted the way that way toward me. Um... The real reason I practice in the church is that no one wants to play with me. My father used to practice with me from his sickbed, but his illness has made that impossible. Maybe I should just stop playing Shoki and get a job. That way my family won't get hurt again. Mm -hmm. Do what you love. Is that what you want to do? Do what you love! Hmm. Oh, sorry, I got caught up in the moment. Do what I love. I love Shogi. I don't want to quit. <laughs> yes, you're right. You understand my true feelings. At the end of the day, I love Shogi. I'd never be able to give it up. I was just confused because of that article and how my senior treated me. However, I think I can see my next move, thanks to you. Helping me, huh, realize a lot about myself outside of Shogi. So I'm guessing that, that since Ifumi was originally planned to be a phantom thief, her mother would have been, like, the one they went into for, like, um, the palace. At least that's my guess. Deeper! Hooray! Let's return to the church and play a match. The article has left me somewhat irritated. I'm going to use my secret move, the Eternal Abyss Yagura Gate, and turn the board into hell. Well, would you care to face me in a match? No, I would not. Although knowledge up is good. Knowledge is max! Finally! Oh, nice. Until next time. Hooray, I'm back on schedule because... I messed up one of the first questions in the game and saved over it and didn't go back to fix it because I was stupid, so yeah, I caught up. Hello, this is Ifumi. Thank you so much for accompanying me today. I needed the distraction. Trying to resolve this on my own, I felt caught in a vicious cycle. But you helped me find a new path. You might be you might make a fine priest yourself, considering how good of a listener you are, I mean. Oh, is that so? Ah, uh, you're imagining things. Confess your sins, my child. Ah, uh, you're imagining things. Really? I thought I felt a hidden potential brewing within you. Well, you did, but not in the way you're thinking. 
You really are a strange individual. I was supposed to be your teacher, but somehow the tables have turned. I'm the one learning from you. Well, you're still teaching me a lot about Jogi. I would love to keep learning from you. Now that... Mm, pardon me. Now then, if you'll excuse me, I'll see you at church. Alright, it's Sunday. It's the Home Shopping Network. Time for the Home Shopping Network, kids! And we'll get the assorted drinks. I like assorted drinks. They'll be good for us. Alrighty, and on today's agenda, as always on Sundays, it's time to get our chug on. Ch chug, Hi. chug, chug, lug! Oh, yum yum in my tum tum! My guts is have improved. Alrighty, and so now we're gonna spend some time with On because it's not quite ready to uh, uh, go deeper with her yet, or should I say, attain maximum penetration with On. So we're gonna go have fun. Spend some time with On. Let's go to our favorite park. We always go to this park. Okay, let's get going. Mm -hmm. Place really is like an oasis in the middle of the city. I can feel the tree's energy. Trees, give me your energy! I honestly enjoy just relaxing like this. It makes me think of a picnic. And now I'm craving sandwiches. Mm, you should make some. Huh? Me? Then, is it okay if they're the sweet kind, with whipped cream and custard inside? That is... Sure, why not? <clears throat> Anyways, it's really quiet here. I know, let's take a walk. I want to see what else is around. Want to come with? Of course I do! Let's go! Our feelings will grow stronger soon, I know it. Alrighty, and I think that with just seven more days to go, that is I'll where we will this. end today's episode, because I've been recording for two hours now, and I don't want to, uh, like, um, unfortunately, if I, if I record past two hours, sometimes it causes, like, a problem with, uh, my recording software, so don't want to take that chance. Either way, this has been a long enough episode, so thank you everybody so much for watching, I appreciate you being here with me. Uh, next time, we are going to be... Hanging out with a few more friends, doing a bit more social linkses, and finally, I believe that next time we will probably get to uh, um, the end of the story. Well, not the end of the story, but the end of the end of the Mejed arc. We'll be uh, hanging out with Futaba and seeing how she deals with Mejed, and that'll be pretty fucking awesome. As always, if you're enjoying this as much as I am, please like, comment, subscribe if you are not already. Ring the bell for all them notifications is. And until next time, have yourselves a beautiful day, my beautiful, beautiful viewers! <laughs>